Hello, and welcome to an online review of Fenders 66. Um, I've literally just received this guitar. Haven't took it out of the packaging yet. I've took it out of the box, but it's still covered in cellophane packaging. So this is completely raw. So I'm gonna give it a little test. First off, let's get it. So, this is the guitar. I have a knife. I have enough years as an adult to not hurt myself with the knife. So you're meant to think anyway. So I ordered this because I saw it on some videos of the NAM show and really, really like the look of it. I'm a bit drawn to guitars that are kind of slightly different. So this kind of ticked the boxes with me. So I really liked it. And there you go. So it's even got the tags hanging off it and it's got a silica gel thing underneath the pickups, the pickups have still got the plastic on, so let's take those off. Hate plastic on pickups. It is a bit fiddly, let's be honest. But anyway, we shall see how we get on then. And then we'll get into seeing what this thing can do. So, first impressions. She is a handsome beast, it's gotta be said. I kinda, I put the strap out because I wanted to kinda do the comparison on the strap because it's slightly different, you see, it's offset at the bottom. So the 66 is a jazz bass shrunk down to a guitar size. And that's what I really liked, is it's really different. So you look at the back of it, it's got the body cut in it. But yeah, 66, it's got the maple neck. Feels like a more of a D-shaped fretboard. Feels like a wider kind of modern fretboard, but feels really, really good. Um, and what I really liked about it as well is, yeah, personal preference, no criticism. I'm not a Telecaster guy, um, but I really like the sound of Telecaster lipstick pickups. I don't like the aesthetic of a Telecaster. I'm not keen on the headstock, and I don't kind of like the body shape. More of a strap guy. And then this kind of being different, really, yeah, really appealed to me. I like how this kind of, it feels big, this ass on it feels big when you play it. But anyway, so it's not been played before. Really, really like the look of it. Very much polyurethane finish on the, on the natural finish there. I think we've got a bit of plastic on the scratch plate, but that wouldn't be, um, wouldn't be unusual. Yes, we have. Let's take that off. I'm going to have to get some screws off to do this properly. Anyway, we'll do a job on it for now. Ha 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 ha. Because I'm a bit like a child. So I ordered this on January the 26th. It's now April the 26th. So I waited three months for it. And this is the first one of these that Fender have done. So as I say, I really like the telly pickups. Really like the kind of sound of them, but don't like the aesthetic of the telly. So this really appealed to me. And also it's just a bit different and I really like that. So before we plug it in, it's got a five-way selector switch here. It's got what I believe will be volume and tone. It's got a trem as well. Um, I'm not gonna put the trem in for now though. But um, yeah, I like it. Also, and again, this might be controversial. I prefer the selector switch, the pickup switch being there rather than where a Strat is. I'm more of a Gibson guy personally and I prefer it being up here. But often when I'm strumming a Strat, I'll hit the pickup selector by accident and go to the wrong pickup. So anyway, I will take this off actually, it's getting on my nerves. Where's my knife? There's my knife. So, okay, right. So, let's plug it in. So I've got this running into a Fender Bass Breaker 45. Uh, I've got it attenuated down to one watt, because anybody who owns a bass breaker will know that they are very, very noisy. Yeah, anybody who owns a bass breaker will know that they're very, very noisy pieces of kit. Um, but yeah, let's see how we go. So to start off, and I'll tell you what pedals I'm using as I go along. I've got the bass breaker pretty much set with everything to 12. I have been playing the strap before this arrived though, so I'm Presuming this will be more stratty than Les Paul in its setup. So I've set set the amp and the pedals for like strat sounds, not Les Paul sounds. So 
clean, no effects at all going through the neck pickup, the lipstick pickup on the neck. <laughs> slightly it's a bit low output Saturny, I like it. Um, okay, so move it to the next pickup, so that's these two together. Very stratty. Middle pickup on its own. That's telly, that's quite twangy. Just out of the box keeps going out of tune. Really country sound to that middle pickup. So I got the back pickup then, the humbucker. Oh, she's bright. You feel that's got more output. Almost like a boost, boost switch on it. It's very, very loud compared to the others. Very, very boosted. Yeah, very much louder. I'll have to turn that down ever so slightly. Okay, let's put a bit of crunch on. So, using MXR Super Badass pedal, just a little bit of crunch. Very, very low output out of that neck pickup, which is okay. So you've got like a really hot pickup at the back. 
back, you've got like a telly pickup in the middle and a stratty pickup at the neck. Well, that's the sounds kind of out of it anyway. And the in-betweens, that's stratty to me. That's like the those those two together, and the other one, these two together. Definitely more telly when you put a bit of crunch on it. So I'm using the Keeley El Rey Dorado pedal. <laughs> you can drive pretty low, but this thing's pretty potent, so I'm sure it'll do. It's the neck pickup, by the way. Very, it's got a telly kind of echoey sound to it. that it's based on was released in 1960 and this has got six strings as opposed to four hence 66 so there you go that's the reason for that one anyway just carry on with that a second so we'll go to these two together overdriven very telly very twangy it's got a bit of it <laughs>
tune a bit, but to be fair, it's just out of the box, and you know, these things happen when they're fresh out of the box, I get that. <laughs> so that's the kind of Fender 66 in natural. Yeah, so give it a little bit more of a go, maybe stick some delay on. So it's coming out of DD6. Turn that off. Let's just loop, just do some blues maybe. Put a bit of crunch on. Thank you. 
last thing, a bit of fuzz, I suppose. I've got a fuzz pedal here. I've got the Keeley Dark Side, so I've got a bit of fuzz. Here. That sounds good. It sounds fat out the neck pickup. That's nice. Um, middle pickup. Very fat. Bridge pickup, humbucker. Better. So, that is the Fender 66, and I'm going to have a mega, mega, mega play with it. First impressions, I'm really happy. Um, it does feel different to a Strat, definitely. The, the ass on it feels very different. The body cut's different, and the neck feels like a more modern, wide profile, and it's definitely more satiny on the back than that Stratocaster there. So, yeah, and it's got the vintage tuners as well. So I think it's about 723 in retailers in a number of colors. I like this because I think this is the kind of traditional jazz bass color personally. It's what I associate with a jazz bass. So yeah, go buy yourself one if you want to. I quite like it. <laughs>